I'm back with another video. This time I want to talk about one of my other favorite mod. It's called Red Power. Now Red Power has a bunch of uh, different mods. There's um, lighting, logic, machine, wiring, whirl, array. But today I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, wiring because uh, a couple of at least a couple of you asked about um, how I did the uh, control panel in one of my previous videos so you know instead of going straight to it I thought I'd just give you a brief introduction on the different types of wiring that's available in Red Power I think it'll come uh, it'll I think you realize the benefit so um, here I have just a bunch of different types of wiring that's available the most fundamental is uh, the bare wire. Now this is similar to red wire in um, in the vanilla Minecraft, but I think it's a lot better. I mean, you, you can't do this with uh, red wire. You can't make it climb up the walls and you know underneath blocks and whatnot. So that's what it can. That's what it can do. It also can run a lot longer. I think it can go up to 255 blocks before you can uh, you have to do a repeater. So that's red wire. Now with with red wire, um, there's no insulation. So as soon as you place one next to it, it's just gonna you know connect itself. Sometimes you don't want that. Sometimes you want the insulation so that you can extend the length and have them run in parallel like what you see here. So in insulated wire you have different colors um, I think you have up to 15 or 16 different colors um, insulated wires and uh, insulated wires can be terminated re with regular wires like so again they're gonna they're gonna just connect themselves um, or I believe you can just uh, put whatever you wanna power right next to it let me just show you what I mean let me give myself a uh, blue lamp here and a lever like that so the end of the wire can be connected to you know some some red power or some power device um, and then the next thing the next two things I want to talk about are the wire bundles if any of you guys have worked with wire bundle before they're just a bunch of wires grouped together um, the benefit is that you don't have to run individual wires and it takes a lot less space and then uh, at the opposite end you can have these insulated wires coming out of them and then uh, appropriately connected to whatever you want to connect to so there are two different types well, actually the two different basic types of uh, bundle there's generic wire bundle and then there's color wire bundle the color wire bundle again there are I don't know 15 or 16 uh, different colors the only difference between the two is that generic wire bundle is the only one that you can connect to a jacketed wire bundle which I'm gonna talk about in a little while this one here when you try to connect to it to it it won't work um, I guess uh, all you can do is run the wire and then use um, these insulated wires at the ends. Um, and then the next thing is um, jacketed wires. The jacketed wires, uh, uh, the rest of the, the other types of wires that we talked about require you to place on some other blocks. This one here can, uh, you know, can stand by itself. So you can do cool things like uh, street lamps and things like that. Let me just show it to you. So you might want to do something like this. Um, green lamp. You know, and then you can decorate it. Um, and what I'm using here, it also, uh, these are called um, these are called hollow uh, covers. 
and they also belong to Red Power. Um, if you guys want, request and, and I'll show you how to, you know, how to craft and, and use these things. But they're kind of nice. So, I mean, you can run things like this and, and uh, you know, make your world look a little bit uh, more attractive. Or you can do things like that. Something like that. And run power underneath and power them up and make them light, light up. Alright, so that's the uh, jacketed wire. Now the jacket, jacketed wires uh, will have a variety of different uh, jackets and they come in the different types of blocks that you see in your world like you know this wood there's uh, sandstone, there's stone, whatever glass, dirt, grass um, and then the one last thing I think th I think this one is um, is probably my favorite the jacket wire bundle again the, the jacket um, is consisted of uh, the different blocks that you have in your world it ha this happens to be a, a wooden plank jacket or bundle but these behave just like the generic wire bundle but they're kinda nice in a way that um, they can be hidden from view I mean, they don't make uh, eyesores uh, let me just show you what I mean so in uh, in my current world I have some wiring done if you look up here in my control panel I haven't I'm not done with this yet but you take a look so this is a, a jacketed wire bundle right here. As you can see, you know, it's um uh, it's kind of nicely hidden from uh from from view. What I mean is kind of blend in. And then I have um you know the generic wire bundle wire bundle coming out. And then um I th I use some of these levers here to control the different um oil pumps and you know stations that I'm that I built for myself so let's take for example um, power generator if you look out there that's my power generator I throw that indicators light on and my engine started to crank out this is the refinery over there Now let's go down a little bit and see uh, the rest of the wiring. So here, you know, th there's not much wires running all over the place. But if you um, take a look at at the uh, at my world downstairs, so you see the the bundle running down here into a basement. Now the basement is where I have, you know, the Frankenstein type of uh, wiring running all over the place. That's also using uh oh this is this is using red power. Uh it uses a, a uh latch to allow you to use a push button to control an on off state of these um of three pistons here. And that's what I and these are what I use to create the door here. So come down here and you're gonna see wire bundle. Um Jacketed wires, no, sorry, this is uh, insulated wires, bare wires. They're all over the place. And if you go out here, the wiring in Red Power can be run for a long distance as you can see my my uh, oil well is all the way over there so I gotta run a a wire bundle uh, you know um, from my control panel all the way there and I'm using as you can see I'm using the covers red power covers to cover them up and they look so natural I purposely uh, left certain sections here 
uncover to show you guys. Other than that, uh, nobody would ever know that, that I have wires running there. Same over here. I got wires run all the way down to the basement there. And I've got wires um, up here. But I've got them almost all covered up. All right. Um, let's just walk through, um, you know, how to wire, wire up a a, a um, an on-off switch. And that's the basic block that I use for my control panel. So, what you're gonna use is a uh, I mentioned before a toggle latch and some uh, wiring. Well, let me just do it. let me just demonstrate the the bundle as well before I do that so assuming that you have a uh, you know a long way to go from you know from your control panel or wherever you want to wire to your destination okay the way that wires bundle work is that um, for the jacketed wire bundle you're going to have to terminate it using a generic generic uh, bundle like this see that? they're going to come out like that and at the other end you want to do the same thing okay now connect it to the generic wire bundle you can connect the different types of uh, insulated wires as you need them let's just do one more here Okay, let's just throw uh, some lamps here. Red lamp. Green lamp, blue lamp. So at the other end, you connect your um, switches or whatever, or push button. I'm just going to use a lever for now. So by throwing this switch, blue lamp comes on, green, and red. Okay. So now, if you want a push button to change your state from, you know, on to off and then vice versa, this is what you need to do. You need to use one of these toggle latches I'm gonna I definitely will uh, will do another video on logic I think this is cool um, I don't know if you guys any of you guys have played with this before but a lot it allows you to um, really wire wire up logic you know and or nor latches and and all that stuff uh if you're into engineering at all i think it's uh, you know it's a dream come true so uh I'll, I'll go into that one of these days all right so let's just take green for right now 
Alright, let's give ourselves a button. So you got a button over here. When you push it, what you want to do is have that green lamp. Push it once, have it turn on. Push it again, have it turn off, and so forth. So let's run. Let's place this thing down. All right, the input is where this latches. I mean if you right click on it you can you can tell. Alright, the output can be either side of where you know the tiny little LED is. Oops sorry. You gotta use this wire. So you can do this right now. You can turn it on and off. The only other thing is you wanna wire it up like so. It's already working. There you go. You see that? And some of you were wondering, well, uh, oh, what was that indicator that I used with the X and the check mark? That's that's from Portal. It's this guy right here. It's the electronic intelligent indicator. So um, let's place it there. There you go. So you know you can use that and uh, you know and and, and have your panel look kind of sharp. The only o the other thing I want to mention is uh, you know with all these wiring here, you can actually use the cover to cover them up, as I've already s shown you before. But the several different types of covers let me just see if I can just bring some up here let's uh, uh let's see a uh, wooden blank cover so you can uh Do things like that. And so on. Well, I tell you what, I, I really love Red Power. I think it's it's uh, fantastic. It saves a lot of space. I mean, can you imagine doing things like this with uh, with the regular uh, Redstone? To be honest, that's probably the one of my least favorite part of Minecraft is that Redstone thingy. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoy. I hope uh, uh, you know it's informative. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.